the ultimate PC parts and peripherals trivia game show. Welcome back to FTW Tech, I'm your host Isaiah, and today I'm doing the first episode of a series I hope to continue, the PC parts and peripherals trivia game show. Uh, so I made this up myself. Um, the first episode is going to feature two of my friends who are both into PC building, Ryan and Andreas, uh, going head to head in a competition. I will explain the rules uh, in the next clip. Um, I really can't wait to get into it. We'll see how it goes. This is kind of like a test run. It's a bit longer than I would have wanted it. Um, and it's not perfect. So feel free to leave your feedback down below in the comments. Check out my website for written tech content. But Let's get right into it. Hey guys, I'm here with Ryan and Andreas, and we're doing the PC Trivia Game Show. Uh, so we've got a normal round with 15 questions, as I said, and then a speed round with just five questions. Uh, speed round, it'll be the first person to yell it out. Uh, for the normal round, it, you have to raise your hand. First person to raise their hand gets the answer. If they get it wrong, it goes to the other person. They get no points if they don't get it right. One point if they uh, do get it right. And whoever has the most points at the end wins. So I have come up with 20 questions, and hopefully they're good. So... I'm Let's assuming you're keeping score. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who wins? Okay, Nobody. Ryan, that would be important. All right. I'm gonna eat my performance. I'm gonna eat my, person, uh, gonna eat my uh, performance enhancing substance. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's. I. It's, I think it's backwards, but you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> for the memes, you gotta eat it for the memes. All right. So it's first person to raise your hand answers. Don't shout it out. This is a normal round, and you also have more time to answer each question. All right. What X570 motherboard has the most power phases? This one's kind of hard, so I'll give you a hint. It's... Well, it's one of the best boards that there is, like, in any series. It's like a top-tier board. Andreas, you have your hand raised. The one with Wi-Fi. <laughs> the one with Wi-Fi. I think it does have Wi-Fi, but that is the wrong answer. Oh, I don't know. Take a guess. Any guess? Just a high-end motherboard name. Go so going out there, Tai Chi. Oh uh, no, it's not the Azrock Tai Chi. It's even more high-end. It's the MSI Godlike. So, 19 uh, power phases, by the way. So, <laughs> pretty crazy. No points in the first round. Uh, let's write that down. Okay, second question. What is Intel's technology called that allows the 10900K to reach 5.3 gigahertz turbo clock? They introduced a new technology just for the 10900K for now that allows it to reach 5.3 gigahertz turbo. I watched this on Jay. Oh, I'll remember. I'll give you hints, like okay. after like a few seconds. It starts with the word thermal. Like, it's is it, three hard words is it first... hardware related? It's... Uh, not really. It's three words, and the first word is thermal. It's a technology that allows a 10900K to reach 5.3 gigahertz. They kind of hyped it up during their announcement. I don't pay attention to Intel, that's why. Ryzen all the way. But I had to spice it up. The thing is, I don't know. Intel at all, so Anyone want to take a random guess? Three words starting um, with thermal. You have to raise your hand first. You have to raise your hand first. All right, Andreas. Thermal dejection unit. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, Ryan, you got one? Any guess? You know, I'm a wild card. I know this isn't right, but thermal intake power. Random? I no. Don't know. I don't care about Intel. It is. It is thermal velocity boost. Ah, I had. I thought it had something to do with boost. So. Okay. Yeah. Third question. Hopefully, hopefully you guys start getting them. All right. <laughs> what are... A lot of pressure. <laughs> Faith in us, you have. What are Noctua's black coolers called? What do they call their black coolers? First one to raise your hand. It's just one word and then black. So instead of the Noctua NHD 15, it's the Noctua NHD 15 blank black. Andreas. Edition. No. Oh. That would be cooler, Master. So. Mm. Ryan. 
<laughs> Thing is, I know the other Noctua fans, I don't know this one. Well, it's what they call any of their... All of their coolers that are black. They call them something black. Okay, um, that's probably time. The answer is Chromax Black. Not to an HD 15 Chromax Black. You've probably seen I that on that. websites before, but... No, I have not. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, question four. This one might be a little bit difficult, because everyone knows four, but a lot of people don't know five. But the question is five. Name five motherboard manufacturers. Our oh. four big ones, name five. First one to oh. raise your hand. Brian was first. Oh. First of all, the first one MSI. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh shoot, I only know four. I just realized that. I'll name the four. There's no fifth, because I'm not the just name, just, name the, just name the four, and then think of the fifth. MSI. Oh, MSI. ASRock, there's ASUS. They make one. What's up? A other big, big, uh, the big one in the four, big four. I'm trying to think of a five. You didn't even name the four. I know, because it won't help me. But you know what the fourth is, right? I'm taking a wild guess. Gigabyte. Yeah, that's the big four. Okay. And... Four. One more. Five, four, three, two, one. Andreas. All right. It goes to you. Um, Asus. Maybe the first four. So. Asus, yeah. MSI, Azrock, Gigabyte. Honestly, I don't know the other one. I don't even know if these people make uh, motherboards, but colorful. No, no. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, you can, you can. Uh, actually, no. That 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 counts. That counts. I'm gonna make that a no. So the answers oh. are MSI, MSI, uh, Gigabyte slash Aorus. You know, gigabyte yeah. Aorus. Uh, Asus, Azra, and then other acceptable answers would have been BioStar, EVGA, or NZXT. So. EVG. What? Okay. That's NZXT. Oh yeah. Un oh, yeah. NZXT, NZXT made like board. one or two boards. Yeah. They don't. Okay. Right. Wait, did I get a point? Five. No. Yeah. Oh. Did you? Uh, what is CPU cache? First okay. one, raise your hand. What is CPU cache? Andreas! It is a small amount of memory on the CPU die that allows for a quicker data transfer. Woo woo! Andreas! I, I, I actually- I know my- I know my hardware. Okay, Andreas with the this first point. Next question. <laughs> what is generally regarded- what is generally regarded as the best consumer power supply on the market in the United States, anyways? The best consumer oh. power supply line. So, company and model. Brian was first. Oh, and model. And model and model. Not, not like an amount of watts, but like it's the name of the line, like the product line. Oh, the product line? So, for example, like, you got the Corsair CXM, so there's the CX450M, 550M. You don't have to say, like, the 550, you would just say Corsair CXM. It's not, it's not Corsair. It's not Corsair. 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 Is it Thermaltake? I was thinking that, but Something. no, it's some, it's some other brand. I don't know. I just don't play. All right, we're gonna move to Andreas. We're gonna move to Andreas. Ryan's out of uh, time. Okay. Um, I don't think it's EVGA. It's. Uh, I, I I don't know. Pass. Okay. The answer is the Seasonic. Oh, I know. I know. I know. It was Seasonic. I. I just forgot the name. Yeah, I thought. I thought it started with a T. And yeah, Seasonic is really oh, good. Uh, I found it funny that Ryan said Thermal Take, because Thermal Take kind of sucks, but... <laughs> well, I mean, a, a few of their power supplies are okay. A few of their power supplies. Okay, this is probably the easiest question in the whole thing, possibly. Or one of them. Okay. 
The box, box, the box, all right. The box of which PC part is often used as a workspace for the first part of a PC build. Andreas was first. Motherboard. Yes, Andreas with two points. Yes. Okay. This gamer froze his hand before the question was finished. Okay, I was gonna say something, but... This game what is... What is the line of AMD server CPUs called? Server, not enthusiast, server. Andreas was first. Epic. Yes! Yes. Epic, like how Andreas is doing. Very Yes, epic. sir. Okay, the next one is also very easy and also about AMD CPUs. What is the code name for AMD's Zen 3 architecture? So the, the previous gen version of this would have been Matisse. Or, uh, they've also had the names, I, I think, um, Batiste, uh, they've had Picasso might have been a name of their, uh, old CPUs. So what is the code name of their Zen 3 architecture? So this would be, like, NVIDIA and Ampere for yeah, AMD yeah. CPUs. I, I don't know. Nobody wants to raise their hand and take a guess. Nobody. I got Andreas. No. The Fast Boy. <laughs> I don't know. It's not called the Fast Boy, but it probably should be. Ryan, it goes to you. Do you have a guess? Put it out there. You got, we're going with the. Uh... Now I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're the Ryzen guy. guy. What is what's going on here? <laughs> I'm the Ryzen guy. I don't know. I don't know the code name. It's part of Ryzen. The answer I was Vermeer. The answer was Vermeer. Coffee Lake. Yeah, Vermeer. Yes. Hmm. So it Here's would be like Coffee Lake and stuff for instance, yeah. but it's AMD Vermeer. Okay. Why do many people advise against buying GPUs like the Radeon RX 580 used? Why do people advise against buying GPUs like the 580 used? And I mean specifically that model, not why do people it's say you shouldn't buy GPUs used. Uh, why do many advise against buying GPUs like the Radeon RX 580 oh. used? All right. um, so I'm talking about like a specific model like this, not every model. But like, don't overthink it though. Like what do people do to graphics cards that make them run slower? Oh. Andreas. Oh. Do they mine on them? Yes. Andreas. Oh, I did. Oh, let's go. I didn't even realize. I was like, Andreas I do. With four points. I know that has something to do with it, but. Okay. All this right. one might seem like the easiest. The next one might seem like the easiest. Uh, it's probably the hardest because it's just a lot of letters. Name three monitor models. Sorry. Oh you... God. I got. I got. I don't okay, even know mine. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> The first one is the one you recommended me originally, the Acer XF 840, of course. Okay, then okay, the, you got one. It will mine AOC uh, G2590X, I think it's FX, I'm not sure. Yes! You got two, you got two. That's, well, that's mine. I know it. Um, Remember, there, there's another version of the G2590FX. The F is just replaced with a different letter. Do you know what it is? G2590-something-X. There's another version of that. I'm trying to think of other ones, because I, I don't know that. Um... Do you remember what my monitor was called? 240 hertz, also from Acer. Do you remember what it was? You rarely told me. What, I think you told me what that was once or twice. There what a high-end monitor. You could maybe name a 4K monitor. Maybe you've seen one reviewed by Hardware Unboxed and you remember it. I'm trying to give I, hints here. Sad thing. I don't watch Hardware Unboxed. I should, but I don't. And he is out of time. Andreas, can you name three monitor models? You can take his too, so... If I'm going to be honest, I don't even remember what he just said, nor do I know my own model. So I think I'm gonna have to pass you on this one. ROG I don't pay attention to the modern mo monitor there, model. There are. I just know the specs. There are ROG monitors. Oh, he has an ROG. Yeah, yeah. So answers would have been like the LG 27 G L850. That's a really yeah, popular I one. Have the one that. I have is the Acer XF 250. Oh, wait, can I have said like the Odyssey 9 D9 or something? G, G9. Odyssey G9. G9. Yeah, that, you, uh, yes, you could have. You could have. Oh, that would have been two right there. <laughs> 
Acer XFA 240, AOC G2590 FX, like you said, but the other one was the AOC G2590 PX. Um, yes. Samsung Odyssey G7, etc. Okay, next one. What is the difference between dynamic and condenser microphones? Anybody want to raise their hand? Does anybody know this? I don't, I don't really know crap about microphones, about being honest. This is about parts and peripherals as well. Okay, Andreas. Not only would I consider that more about music, but um, is it does it have something to do with the um, like where the something to do with like surrounding interference, like um, audio, possibly sounds? No, maybe I don't know. <laughs> Not really. I don't really know. No, that you're on the right track. I'll give you a few more seconds to collect a oh. better answer. You you're very much on the right track. One of them more than the other. That kind of thing. Maybe like one of them has more of the um, noise canceling kind of aspect. Yeah, which one? The well, the condensing. Which one probably. is less sensitive? The condensing is probably less sensitive. Wait, what, wait yeah. what was the other one called? Did I just yoink it? Did I just yoink it? Okay. Condenser and dynamic. Ryan, go ahead. The, the condenser, but well, just <laughs> if if that's what it is, the condenser is like. Is it close? What he said. You can steal his answer. I said one of them is more than the other, and he had the wrong answer. It's only fifty-fifty. <laughs> Condenser and dynamic. Which one's more sensitive? Condenser. Ryan with his first point <laughs> of the game. <laughs> I thought it was like okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah so I know condenser what microphones. Talking. Okay. What? Wait. What point? What uh, question are we on? Uh, I don't know. I don't have them numbered. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's <it>. great. <laughs> um, but I think we're getting pretty far. Yeah, we're almost done with the normal round. Okay. Uh, what is the name? What is the name of the company that makes cryonaut, conductonaut, and hydronaut thermal pastes? So some of the most popular thermal pastes out there. Andreas. Thermal take. You're so close! Ryan, uh, you wanna steal it? It's thermal something. You can steal it out so of the I don't know. I don't know thermal paste. It's not thermal take though. It's thermal something. thermal take. Thermal paste. It is thermal something. Did you just say thermal paste? Yeah, let's go, boys. We're copying it off the answer. <laughs> so thermal paste is a company that makes thermal paste? Ah, uh, how? Yes. In, um, it is. Original. Yeah. The Wait, answer. Uh, right, do you have the answers? No, I don't. Oh, okay. I was going to say. I was like, what? The answer no. was thermal grizzly. Thermal grizzly. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, I, was being <laughs> I don't know. So I just guessed. No, I didn't realize Isaiah okay. was being. He's, he's very convincing. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. This one take a little while to answer. Name ten features that may be compelling when choosing a keyboard. Ryan. So ten. Yeah, ten features one. that might so influence features. your keyboard choice. Ten. A wrist rest, maybe. We got oh, yeah. For key, sure. key caps. Key caps. The Maybe. type? You mean the type of key caps? Yeah. Okay. Key switches? Yeah, of course. LPD? Of course, yeah. Uh, 60% or 100%? I don't know. Yeah, so the layout. Okay, that's five. That's five. Percent, 100%. Um, what about features like Corsair matter, boards but... have, like yours? They have brought some of those features. Uh, volume adjusters <laughs> on the okay. keyboard. Okay. Well, we're just gonna take a look. Uh, that is six oh my. Home... <laughs> yeah, that's uh, cheating. I mean, Actually, not really. Not, I have not, no, that's it's not, not cheating. Not I, okay. You've got, you've got a keyboard too. You've uh, got a keyboard. I guess. Screen lock. Really okay. A sure. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, not yeah, a feature. Windows, Windows, you don't think Windows Lock is a feature? Not every keyboard has it. But... Okay, you well, to make sure. Pause or rewind or go forward. Okay, multimedia controls, multimedia. You're two away. 
Um, they Donkey like keyboards. Some... Think high end keyboard. Or RGB on or off? You already said. You already said RGB. That RGB. I said gonna... the ability to turn RGB on and off with a button. I'm not, I'm, I'm not taking that. You're not That's taking like it? $20 no. plastic. You're two away. You're two stuff. away. Uh, I'm guessing, you know, I don't know the name, name of this one, but I know there is one that has a stream deck on the side of it. What yeah. are those keys called? Blank keys. They were macro keys, but you can't take that. Oh, okay. uh, can you name two more features? Think about what, like, ducky boards have. High-end boards. What might oh, they have? Yes, frame, aluminum or plastic. Oh, Can you name one that. more feature? Uh, if it has um, uh, if it has the um, uh, uh, legs or not. Okay, sure, he's got it. <laughs> I am with his second point. I don't know. I just said legs. Are there legs other? Are like, kind you, of mean, you mean foot, feet? I just call them legs. Yeah. I, I uh, other legs. things you could have said. Other things you could have said were um, how good the stabilizers are, uh, the key layout, so like US ANSI versus like European ISO, uh, if the switches are factory looped, you could have said USB pass through, you could have said detachable cable or wireless. Oh, I could have said uh, they live dust resistant. Could have said hot swappable switches. Yeah, you could have said spill dust resistant. So I that is yeah. that. No okay, artists. final question. And final question in the normal though. round. What issue plagues many Logitech mice? First one to raise your hand. That was a that was a tie. I'm gonna have you like... lower your hand and then I'm gonna oh, do first raise do... your hand. Oh, yeah, again. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna say three, two, one, go, but but it's on go, it's not on one. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Andreas by a millisecond. Okay, what all right. Plagues Logitech mice? One question is, does it matter if it's wireless or not? It does what? not. It applies to all, all? mice. It, it, would it be sensor, um, sensor, like, what the sensor kind of, like, trip out sometimes? Maybe? It would not be. We're going to move to Ryan. If you have it on infinite scroll wheel and you shake your mouse back and forth, the scroll wheel can get a little loose. I, I no, that. that is not it. Unfortunately, oh, that is not it. Nope. The answer is double clicking. Logitech mice and their double clicking issue. Right, That's the that huge issue? issue that everyone complains about. You click a key that, once that and it like thinks you clicked it twice. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay, so, it's so the speed there. round. It's the speed round. All right. Each round, Just a shout out. round you have, I'll say five seconds to yell it out. Uh -huh. um, there are five questions in the speed round. You have five seconds to answer each, except it's first person to yell it out. So it's going to get kind of chaotic. All right. Question. And it's five seconds after I finish saying the question, and I'll say five, four, three, two, one, and then I'll say like time's up. Okay. Ampere is to the RTX 3000 series as blank is to the GTX 900 series. Five, four, three, two, one. Eh. Answer was Maxwell. Maxwell was the name of the 900 series architecture. Okay. I would have known that. No, True or false? Nice. True or false? Enabling G Sync or Free Sync decreases FPS. True or false? Five, four, false. Three, to Ryan with a point. Wait, you didn't. Ryan, you, wait, you, you, didn't you didn't say three, two, one. <laughs> you said five, yeah, four, three, two. Oh, one, is it during? Is it during? I thought it was. Was it during that time period or is it after that time oh period? My God. I thought it was during. after that. It's oh, it's during. Did you say during? Okay, well, I uh, think that. Okay, well. Ryan is one point behind you, Andreas. You have to hold well, your lead. Oh, there are, all right. there are three more if questions. Think, three well, more questions. Yes, then how would you get a NVIDIA graphics card? That is true. You don't have to turn G-Sync on, but... One. Yeah, G-Sync and FreeSync do not decrease FPS. Okay, next question. An aesthetic keyboard connector, this word means the same thing as pilot. Five, four, three, two, one... 
I'm referring to the aviator connector of keyboards. Uh, okay. I didn't even hear the first word you said. I know, I was, it was, it was kind of cut off. What was the first word you said again? I, the question was, an aesthetic keyboard connector. Uh, this word aesthetic. means the same thing as pilot aesthetic. and aviator. Aesthetic. Okay. Anyways. Um, two questions left. We'll see if Ryan can catch up. Maybe. Your phone company Blue was acquired by which large company in 2020? Oh, I forgot to count down. Five, four, uh, three, Sony. Two, one. And what did you say, Ryan? Last guy. Ryan, with oh, the no, no. <laughs> So I know this stuff. Uh, I know this stuff. I know was this. Was acquired by Wait. Logitech. Oh yeah. my god. Logitech. Okay, final question for all oh. Marvel. Okay, which company? And this is a long question, so you'll have time. Okay. To all right. Which company underwent the following controversies in 2020? DEO committed suicide. This company also threatened a reviewer to make a positive laptop review, and this company was caught scalping their own graphics cards. Five. Nvidia. Three. Two. Ryan, oh, I know. On the last question. Oh no! I mean, I'm being Ryan with a crazy I comeback, did. dude. I, I did not write the script, but oh, Ryan has come back on GG. the last question hand... with MSI. Virtual, oh, virtual handshake. Virtual dappa. Virtual dappa. Yeah. Well, I think on. the real uh, loser uh, here is MSI. Uh, but but you know, if I get on the video here, guys. Uh, Andreas, you have something to say? Yes, I was going to say that did sound very similar to NVIDIA's problem with, you know, kind of screwing over and everything. So. Hardware Unboxed. They, 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 they did screw over Hardware Unboxed. Yes. Yep, they did. But once, once All right, well, All right, well I'll let you finish the video. All right, everybody, make sure you go subscribe to Andreas, and I'll link Ryan down below, but he doesn't post, so... Uh, yeah, let's I'll see, link both let's see some more gaming. Subscribe uh, to both of them and also to me. Uh, so that was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my PC trivia game show. I may be back for another one. Ryan, of course, taking the dub. I might have to pit him against Ali next. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but oh. uh, yeah, that was Isaiah from FTW Tech. And yeah, see you guys. Yeet.